Hey guys, this is Cameron with Emerson House Buyers. Every week I bring you tools, tactics, strategies, lessons I've learned, things that have helped me build up a sizable rental portfolio in about two years. This week I want to talk to you guys about saving to invest. So the I've had several people talk to me over the past few weeks about, hey, I want to get started. Um, I don't have the money. I don't have uh, the time. I'm not really familiar with this stuff. It's a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. So where do I begin? The So you, you'll see all these gurus will tell you, um, or not all of them, but most of them will tell you that you don't need any money to start real estate. That is total and utter nonsense. You, you need some strong position to come from, and usually it's a financial position that really, really, really will boost your, your uh, success in real estate. When you have a strong financial position, so you don't have a lot of debt, you have a great credit score, you don't have a lot of um, other liabilities, like I said, debts or something of that nature, um, and you're making money, you're making good money. That way, you can leverage your strong financial position to borrow the money that you need to invest in real estate. So how do you get this strong financial position or how do you start with this? So I use an app that was referred to me by a friend called Acorns, A-C-O-R-N-S, Acorns. And what that allows you to do is you put your credit card in there um, or debit card or bank account, whatever, and it will round up your uh, spare change. So if you paid a dollar fifty for a coffee, it's going to take that fifty cents and it's going going to invest it into a portfolio, a stock portfolio that you chose. Now Acorns is an app, so it's it's a free app you can download on your phone or get on the computer and look at it. But over time, and then like I said, it invests things in a portfolio at five dollar increments. So it'll say fifty cents, twenty three cents, eighty two cents and add all that up until it gets to $5 and then invest that into a portfolio that you guys chose. You have, I think, four or five different portfolios from very conservative and mostly bonds to very aggressive, mostly stocks. And what that allows you to do is subconsciously, well, not even subconsciously, just automatically, without you even knowing it, investing. So when you invest, you're gonna start building up. You're gonna realize here in a few years, or you could, well, let me back up here. You can auto, automating your investing is extremely important because you do it without thinking about it. When when they take automatic deductions out of your payroll uh, for 401k contributions, for example, it, it it just lets you work with what you have left. So you spend what you have left after saving. You don't save what you have left after spending. I think that's a Warren Buffett quote. So if you can set up some automatic reoccurring investments like Acorns or 401k, whatever that might be, and start building up a, 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 a habit of saving where you can create this little bit of money, um, over time that might be a few thousand bucks that you get in, into an uh, account from, from saving pennies. So that's just one example. If it's difficult for you to save, please, please, please use Acorns. Once you get... Uh, this this money build up and you get rid of some debts and you have a decent job you, I mean I strongly advise you to get a W2 job everybody I want to be an entrepreneur I want my freedom but for the banking for lending you definitely need a solid job it is imperative right now self-employed people cannot get a loan you cannot as an independent contractor a 1099 what they call that a 1099 employee you cannot get lending. It is very difficult. After 08, the, the lending restrictions tightened so much and they got so difficult that essentially W-2 employees are the ones who, high earning W-2 employees are the ones who get all the benefits, all the best rates. And right now you want to capture these 3 and 4% interest rates over 30 years, if you, especially if you get a fixed rate. I mean, you're looking at unprecedented rates for your portfolio. So if you're buying rental properties, you can lock three, four percent in, you're gonna save money when it's seven, eight percent. The the historical 30 year average for a, a 30 year fixed rate mortgage is seven percent. So when rates go up and you have your property locked in at three and a half, four and a half percent, and everybody else is at seven, you're gonna be making a lot more money. Um, so to back up, before you can get that, do you need to create this strong financial position? 
And like I said, you can you need to do that by saving using an app like Acorns. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Invest with your 401k, especially if they match. I always invest up to the match because it's a hundred. It, you're instantly doubling your money. That is instant doubling your money. I don't know what else other investment I've ever made where that day it doubles. Don't know. Never had it. So at least contribute up to the match. Get rid of some debts, whether it's student loans, pay off some now. I'm not saying you have to pay off everything, but build up your credit score. A lot of credit card companies now, I know Discover does um, for me, and Mint.com uh, also does it, where they track your credit score. So you can see your credit score month by month, how it's improving. You want to have a seven over 700, ideally over 750 credit score. Now, I know that's difficult. The average credit score, I think, is in the 650s or 660s. If you can get your credit score above 700, though, you lock in the best rates. So save, start building some habits. And I'm not saying you want to save a lot of money. When I say save, too, I mean invest that money. You put it in the stock market, it's, it, it builds these habits. You can't spend $1,000 and buy a house. I mean, you can net only spend $1,000 and buy a house, but you have to put up a lot more money in the front or get somebody else to. And nobody's going to lend anybody money with a poor financial position. So what I, what I really want you guys to get out of this is to have a strong financial position with money invested, debts paid down, or at least under control, and a good solid income. And when you have that, and like I said, you can use Acorns to start investing and get yourself built up, but you, you have to do that to be able to invest in real estate. If you don't do that, you're, nobody's gonna lend anybody money who's got a 500 credit score. If they do, it's gonna be an insane interest rates. So, or somebody who's got 50,000 in student loans and only makes 20,000 bucks a year. You gotta increase your income and I know all this is, sounds simple. It is simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. Increase your income, get a good W-2 job, save. And, and by save, I mean slash invest. Build that strong financial portfolio. Pay down some debts. Get, get your balance sheet in line. Look at that stuff. I mean, Mint.com has a fantastic dashboard. M-I-N-T dot com has a fantastic dashboard to look at all that stuff. And you can see real time, month after month, if your things, if your things, if your uh, net worth is going up or down, how your investments are doing, are you saving more, you have budgeting tools, all that combined to give you a financial position and they have your, your credit score. So you look at that whole financial position, when you have a strong financial position, then you can invest, whether it's real estate or, I mean, I'm talking about big investments, not little investments, I'm talking about really being able to leverage um, what you have to, to, to do some big real estate deals. And I shouldn't even say big, but just you want to have a solid foundation and your foundation is built from a financial position. And when you have, when you're smart with your money, when you know where it's going, when you have your debts under control and your assets aligned, then you can start stacking on top of it. House one, house two, um, big, big stock purchase whatever else you're going to do, invest in a business, loan people money. You Once you have this uh, position, this foundation laid, that's when you can really, really, really um, springboard yourself onto another position. It might take some time. Um, I wouldn't save a bunch of money. I don't mean when I say save slash invest, I don't mean just sit there and stockpile money. Invest it and uh, and learn a little bit more about your financial position and how you can improve that to leverage that into a good real estate deal or a solid investment. I hope that was useful, guys. Um, I just heard it a lot over the past few weeks. I've helped a couple of my friends get into um, get into Acorns, and I'm like, well, why why am I not telling everybody else about this? Why why uh, why shouldn't I bring this to the audience? So, I think you guys will find that valuable. If I wasn't clear, let me know. If you have other questions, let me know. I'm, uh, I just really feel strongly about this financial position and having this to springboard yourself to success, whether that's real estate, whether that's your job. You'll sleep easier at night when you have a solid financial position and you know what you're doing financially. Um, I'm not saying you have to be an independent or financial advisor or anything of that nature, but just knowing where your money's going, knowing how much you have, knowing how much you have going out the door, 
and um, and then looking to see where you want to go and creating some goals, financial goals for yourself. Um, it's it's powerful. It's empowering too. So I hope this was useful, guys. Let me know if it was. Let me know if it wasn't. Keep asking questions. I enjoy it and uh, look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thanks.